Good afternoon and thank you for joining us today. A lawsuit claims a 22-year-old woman was raped and impregnated while under the care of an Escambia County health care facility. It sparked an investigation by the Escambia County Sheriff's Office that has been closed without any arrests. General Tweets Chorus Nylander investigates and explains why the case is closed. Sue, this is a copy of the lawsuit filed just two days ago. We've also obtained a more than 40-page Agency for Healthcare Administration report. The details in both disturbing and the case remaining unsolved tonight as the victim's family seeks damages from the health care facility. It all started in 2018. A multi-agency investigation launched in the Pensacola cluster. This lawsuit obtained by Channel 3 News reveals a then 22-year-old nonverbal immobile woman on a feeding tube was raped and impregnated. According to the complaint, the situation was first discovered in January 2018. The woman's only time away from Pensacola cluster was weekday visits here at Escambia Westgate School, an education center for people with disabilities. According to court documents, staff at Westgate reported a change in the woman's behavior and discovered bruising on her hip before any action was taken by Pensacola Cluster. The woman was taken for an examination that uncovered a broken hip, bruising, that she had been raped and was pregnant. The investigation now closed without arrests. We asked the Sheriff's Department why. They tell us, quote, every available investigative technique was utilized to capture evidence from the pregnancy, which could be analyzed to link to a suspect but it all returned negative for foreign DNA. The results of the sexual assault kit were negative for foreign DNA after an extensive review and consultation with the state attorney and DCF. We are confident that all investigative leads have been exhausted. I asked the executive director of Florida Mentor how this could happen, sent a list of questions, but only received a written statement reading in part, we regularly review our protocols with the goal of enhancing the quality of our services and minimizing any risk to the health and safety of the individuals we support. We have fully cooperated with all external parties investigating this matter and will continue to do so. The lawsuit also names three employees for failing to report the incident. Their fate is unknown. And the attorney behind the lawsuit, Jim Green, says he will not comment on this case right now due to the pending litigation. The victim was moved from a, that facility to another health care facility, but she ultimately lost the child uh, due to a miscarriage. Reporting live from the newsroom tonight, Course Nylander, Channel 3 News.